Light from the sun takes about 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach Earth. Did you know we're living in the past when it comes to sunlight? The sun is 150 million kilometers away. And even light, the fastest thing in the universe, takes over 8 minutes to reach us. Imagine this. If the sun suddenly vanished, don't panic, it won't, we'd keep basking in sunlight for 8 full minutes before plunging into darkness. Right now, every sunrise is a snapshot of 8 minutes ago. Light speed is incredible, considering it still keeps us time traveling. A teaspoon of a neutron star would weigh about a billion tons. Can you imagine holding a billion tons in the palm of your hand? A neutron star is like a cosmic pressure cooker. It's what's left after a massive star collapses in a supernova, compressing matter so tightly that the density would be the entire mass of Mount Everest in that singular teaspoon. That's more than all the cars, planes, and skyscrapers on Earth combined. The universe really knows how to pack a punch. A day on Venus is longer than a year on Venus. Venus redefines the meaning of a long day. Venus rotates so slowly that a single day lasts 243 Earth days, longer than its 225 day year. Imagine standing there for one sunrise and waiting two thirds of a year for the sun to set. And here's the real kicker. Venus spins backwards. So on this planet, the sun rises in the west and sets in the east. A planet with ultra long days and a backward spin? That's Venus for you. Black holes can burp after devouring stars. Black holes might be cosmic monsters, but they should learn manners too. When a black hole devours a star, it doesn't just swallow everything quietly. Sometimes it ejects massive bursts of energy and matter, like a cosmic burp. And can, this can even happen years after the initial thing goes into the black hole. These burps can be seen millions of light years away, creating breathtaking displays of power. Black holes, messy eaters of the universe. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system, despite being only second closest to the sun. The hottest planet isn't the one closest to the sun. How is that possible? Venus, not Mercury, is the hottest planet in our solar system with surface temperatures exceeding 465 degrees Celsius, or 870 degrees Fahrenheit. Its thickly clouded atmosphere traps heat in a runaway greenhouse effect, making it a fiery inferno. Mercury, with no atmosphere, is closest to the sun, but it can't retain heat as well. Venus, the queen of heat. The Milky Way galaxy smells like rum and tastes like raspberries. Did you know space has a flavor? and the smell? Scientists discovered a molecule called ethyl formate in the center of the Milky Way, in the Sagittarius B2 dust cloud. This molecule gives raspberries their flavor and rum its smell. So if you could taste our galaxy, it'd be a mix of fruity and boozy. It's not quite a cosmic cocktail, but it's close. Space, delicious and mysterious. There are more stars in the universe than grains of sand on Earth. The universe is bigger than you can imagine. There could be up to one septillion stars in the observable universe. That's more than the grains of sand on every beach, desert, and sandbox on Earth combined, at 7.5 quintillion grains of sand. Some scientists estimate that there could be one million stars for every one grain of sand. The sun makes up 99.86% of the mass in our solar system. The sun isn't just the center of the solar system. It is the solar system. Our sun holds 99.86% of the solar system's mass, leaving just 0.14% for all the planets, moons, and everything else combined. It's a massive ball of hydrogen and helium constantly fusing atoms to release energy that powers life on Earth. Without it, we wouldn't exist. The Sun, our massive life-giving star. Saturn's moon Titan has a thick atmosphere and rivers of methane. Titan might just be the most Earth-like planet in the solar system, other than Earth, sort of. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, has rivers, lakes, and even rain. But here's the twist. They're made of liquid methane and ethane, not water. Its thick orange atmosphere makes it look alien. 
but scientists believe Titan could hold clues to the origins of life. Methane rivers, that's Titan for you. A day on Mercury lasts 4,224 hours. What's the longest day in the solar system? Welcome to Mercury. A single day on Mercury, the time it takes for one sunrise to occur after another, lasts 4,224 hours, or about 176 Earth days. Meanwhile, its year is only 88 Earth days. This means Mercury rotates so slowly that its day is twice as long as its year. Imagine one sunrise every two years. Mercury, slow spins and blazing heat. The largest volcano in the solar system is Olympus Mons on Mars. Want to visit a volcano nearly three times taller than Mount Everest? Olympus Mons on Mars is the largest volcano in the solar system, standing a staggering 21 kilometers or 13 miles tall. It's so wide that if you stood at its base, the summit would stretch beyond the horizon. Scientists believe it's extinct, but its size remains unmatched. Mars has the king of volcanoes. Diamonds rain on Jupiter and Saturn. What if I told you it rains diamonds in space? On Jupiter and Saturn, intense lightning storms transform methane into elemental carbon or soot, that transforms into a diamond due to greater pressure as it moves through the atmosphere. These diamonds could be as large as a centimeter wide. Imagine a thousand tons of diamonds raining down in a stormy alien sky. Diamond rain, just another cosmic surprise. The Sahara Desert can reach freezing temperatures at night. Did you know the world's hottest desert gets icy at night? while daytime temperatures in the Sahara can soar above 50 degrees Celsius, or 122 degrees Fahrenheit. They can plummet below freezing at night, an average negative four degrees Celsius, or 25 degrees Fahrenheit. This happens because the lack of moisture within the air can't retain heat, causing it to escape out of the desert. The Sahara, a land of scorching days and icy nights. Earth's magnetic field flips every thousands or 10,000 years. The North and South Poles aren't magnetically permanent. Here's why. Earth's magnetic field flips where the magnetic North and magnetic South switch places in a process known as geomagnetic reversal. The process is estimated to take place between hundreds or 10,000 years, and might even weaken Earth's magnetic shields temporarily. The last flip was 780,000 years ago, so we are way overdue. Magnetic poles on the move. Like for more magnetic mysteries of Earth. <laughs>